Hey, Alan here for Old English Outfitters. You know, uh, Heritage uh, Firearms Company uh, makes the, the Rough Rider series revolvers. And they've expanded those over the years to include all sorts of things. They have really, really small ones. They have relatively large ones, 16-inch barrels, so forth and so on. For relatively low-cost firearms, they're pretty good. Uh, we saw a fair number of them here. Uh, price points are really pretty good on them, and they work. You can get them in 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, stuff like that. Well, new this year, we have Heritage is making this. They call it the Settler's Mare's Leg. Now, why is it called a mare's leg? Because in general, it sort of resembles the leg on a, a horse, okay? A mare being, of course, a female horse. Where'd this design come from? Well, folks, it came from the TV show Wanted Dead or Alive back in the 1960s. Steve McQueen starred in it, and he had an 1892, I think it was, Winchester that was cut down like this. Part of the reason they did that was because Steve McQueen was always well known for wanting to have unique looking firearms in any sort of film or adventure he was involved in. So they took a rifle and they cut it down. So today we have this, okay? And that, that, that moniker, Mare's Leg, came from that show. This, because it has a shorter than 16 inch barrel and really no stock, is classified today legally, technically, as a pistol. All right, this is in 22 long rifle. It is a lever action. Looks a whole lot like uh, and pretty much is based on Henry's lever action 22 design. It's a pretty neat little gun. It, we've got this sort of colored case hardened look going on on the receiver, which is actually makes it quite pretty. Got the same thing going on on the little metal butt plate right there. Uh, standard lever action. Something they did that's really nice is they made this a little bigger than just the normal loop that's on these but not too big. This is fine. If you had gloves on, no problem. If you don't have gloves on, still no problem. Sometimes you get the really obnoxious big loops. They're a little awkward to work with. This is pretty good. Up front here, we've got a, the standard semi-buckhorn type adjustable rear sight. We got a brass bead up front, which is pretty cool. Uh, the wood on it looks good. I am not sure if it's walnut or what it is, but whatever they did, it's finished very nicely. It's got Heritage's logo in the back there. On this side, we have a saddle ring. Put a single point sling on it, right? And it, it hangs. That's, that's what you could do with that. And it would work pretty good. We also have a safety, a cross bolt safety right here. So this safety, when you push it through and it's engaged, it actually locks up everything. You can't cock it. You can't run the lever, anything at all. You push it through and everything works the way it should. Action on it's very smooth. It does have a half cock there. That half cock notch is not a good safety if you had a round in the chamber. It's more for if you were just getting ready to shoot, you're not going to tote it around. You might fully load up, put that in half cock for a second till you actually get up on target, right? Loads like most 22 lever actions load with the tube up here. Okay, so you load it kind of from the muzzle, right? So we don't want to round in the chamber. You just take the, take the magazine tube out, drop your rounds in. It will hold 10 22 long rifles. Then you put your tube back in. We have one really minor issue with this tube, and it was really minor, but the little piece, the little tab there that locks into place up here had pushed through a little bit on the back side, and the tube didn't want to close. Took a second to figure that out. Once we figured it out, just pushed it back in place. No problem. No big deal. When you push this in, it just goes in and turns into that little locking position right there that holds it in place. I got the same little color case hardened effect going on up there. I don't know if that's actual color case hardened or more than likely it's a finish, but you know what? It's pretty. It looks good. We shot 22 long rifles out of this. Again, it holds 10 22 long rifles. We also shot some 22 shorts out of it. One of the advantages to this type of action with the tube. Don't have a box magazine. You got the tube, you got the lever. Is Normally they will shoot 22 shorts without any trouble, and this did. We shot shorts out of it, we shot long rifles out of it. Uh, first thing is it's just a blast. It's lots of fun to shoot. You can shoot it kind of center chest like this, no problem. It's not super heavy. You could hold it out one-handed if you wanted to. I held it up and just braced this on my cheek once. Sights were okay was able to hit a shotgun shell out at about, oh, I don't know, 30 feet or so without any trouble. So uh, pretty good, pretty fun. Uh, we still have the standard dovetail uh, rail up here on top, 3-8 dovetail. So you could put a scope on it if you wanted. 
or something else if you wanted to do that. Because it's a 22 long rifle, recoil is virtually non-existent to speak of. So you can hold it up and shoot it against your cheek. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna beat you up at all, not even close. So what, is your, what, do, you, what do you do with something like this? I mean, you look at it and the first thing you think is, boy, this is a poor rifle. It's really not really big enough. And it's an even worse pistol because of how it's built. Ah, but it is very shootable. As I just described, you can hold it against your cheek. You can hold it here. It's actually very shootable. And the first thing is, it's just a lot of fun, and it's a lot of inexpensive fun. 22s, long rifles, shorts, all that stuff, even 22 longs, are no problem out of this. You could probably, I will see why you couldn't shoot CBs and stuff like that. They should cycle through it just fine. So you can get a lot of fun out of it for not a whole lot of money. But it's accurate enough and shootable enough if you were hiking, camping, and you wanted to take something like this and put it in your pack on the side or inside or whatever, or sling it or whatever you want to do, it could be used as a small game gun. It's accurate enough to shoot small game, rabbits, squirrels, stuff like that, places where you can legally and safely do so. It would be a lot of fun for that purpose. It really would. Check it out. I, I don't have a price point on this at the moment here as I sat in front of you, but it it's not going to be horrible. It, it can't be. Again, these people are well known for making a quality, inexpensive weapon. They're not super high quality finished, but they work. And more important a lot of times than looks is the things have got to work. And this works really well. So worthy of your consideration if you like something like this, you just want something that's just a lot of fun. The Heritage Firearms Settler's Mare's Leg. We're going to have them check with us for current price and availability as always because that could go up and down. But uh, it should be just a lot of fun for, for you to try out. So that is what we have for today. Thank you, as always, for watching. We appreciate all your positive comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters.